Hi, I'm Dan Rodney here for Noble Desktop, and I'd like to explain to you exactly what is Visual Studio Code. Well, Visual Studio Code, or VS Code for short, is a free code editor made by Microsoft. It was initially released in 2015. It's used by many types of coders, including web developers. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Why is VS Code so popular? It's a good code editor, and it's frequently updated with new features. There are many extensions that let you add more features or customize how it works. It's free. It integrates with Git to let you track changes to your code. Microsoft also owns GitHub, where people store their projects in Git repositories. So VS Code nicely integrates with GitHub. What makes VS Code unique? Well, VS Code is built with Electron, which enables cross-platform desktop apps to be built with web technology, like JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. That means that VS Code can work in a web browser. For example, on any GitHub repository, you can hit the period key and you'll start editing with the web version of VS Code right there in your browser without having to download or install anything at all. That's pretty unique. What about other code editors? VS Code is currently the most popular code editor and is dominating the industry, but developers have and still do use other code editors. TextMate, Dreamweaver, Brackets, and others have seen their popularity grow and then shrink. Some are no longer being developed, like Atom, which was originally developed by GitHub before Microsoft purchased GitHub. Sublime Text was the most popular prior to VS Code. It's good and is still being developed, and some developers use it. Let me show you a few things in VS Code just to give you a quick introduction so you can see how it works. In Visual Studio Code, you want to open up folders typically uh, for a project. You can do that by doing File Open Folder, or you can go to the File Explorer over here and open up a folder. If you're using Git, you can also clone a Git repository, let's say from GitHub, but I'm going to open up a local folder. So I'm going to hit Open Folder and navigate to where I want to open my folder from. I'll select my folder and then I can see the files that are inside of it in the file explorer over here on the left. I can op open up multiple files. And if I want to view a file, let's say an HTML document, if I want to view this in a web browser, I can right click and say open in default browser. Um, some commands, some features might require extensions to do some of these features, but one of the beauties of Visual Studio Code is that there are extensions that you can add, such as opening in a browser like this, and it is also assigns a keyboard shortcut to it. This is the open in browser extension that I've added to Visual Studio Code to add this feature. If you wanna make the code bigger or smaller, you can use Command plus or minus on the Mac, or on Windows, Control plus or minus. Visual Studio Code adds a lot of nice features, for example, uh, there's code uh, suggestions like you would expect in any good code editor as you start typing. It will suggest as well as uh, complete your ending tags. Uh, in a lot of coding languages, you want to start and end things. Uh, it will help in that process. But one of the really cool things that it does is when you hover over something, it will give you little hints. So it kind of tells you some things about your code. And it'll do that in a variety of languages. So for example, here in HTML for developing a web page, in CSS as well. And it might even link out to documentation like the MDN reference, which is the Mozilla Developer Network. Mozilla is the foundation behind Firefox. They have amazing web documentation that you can read and have that, having that integrated into VS Code is really nice. There's also things like color pickers where you can go in and if you want to change the color, just hover over, the color picker appears. You can even convert between different color formats. So there's just a lot of nice little features here that we have in, uh, in VS Code. And I'm going to just undo that to put it back because I don't want to make that change. Uh, they even have an integrated browser. Let me just close this over here to make some more space. And there's a button over here that I can click and that will open up the integrated browser. And as I make changes to this, I can see that those changes are made live in the browser that's integrated directly into VS Code. This uses Microsoft's live preview extension, which I've added to VS Code. 
So a lot of great features. Uh, that's just a quick, really quick introduction to it. So you just get to see a little bit about how VS Code works. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you're currently enrolled in one of our programs, we look forward to seeing you in class. If you have not enrolled in one of our programs, if you're not learning with our certificate programs or classes, you can learn uh, with us live online or in person in New York City. We have individual classes or certificate programs. Be sure to check those out at nobledesktop.com or with these links here in this presentation. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching.